Hello, and welcome to my first look at Breachway during the Steam Next Fest. Uh, the first one in 2004, let's go into a new run. So this new run, Roguelite, I think this is a deck builder, kind of space combat roguelite thing. Um, so it could be interesting. So let's go ahead and start a run here. And I think it's just going to kind of like take us through a little bit of a tutorial uh, to start us off. Or at least I hope it does, because otherwise, you know, I'm figuring out. I've seen like a little bit of gameplay, so I could see just like, oh, this is roguelike car builder. There we go. Quarters. Okay, Captain wants us on the man command deck. Two of you. All right. And we're apparently on a scavenging mission. All right. All right. All right. So here we go. Starting ship crew. We have to accept a magpie. All right. Basic ship. Basic ship doing basic things. That's fine. All right. So. All right. All right. All right. So that's the station record trying to get through. So we're going to a waypoint. Um. Uh, all right. So there was another space combat, and we came along somewhere. So this is going to be our first introduction to space combat in this system. They're going to have us go in. They're going to have us do a battle. All right. Our hands, their ship. Okay. So energy is what I have to spend. They're charging. They charge up. All right. So they let's double slice. So we've got a little mining laser. Do a slice. Do a slice. All right. And turn advance. All right. They're about to fire. So we want to definitely do that. And after we play a card, it moves to our cooldown pile. So the thing about this is we've got cards in our cooldown pile. Once they're out of cooldown, we can draw them again. Um, I can start playing this. I have to play at least one damage a turn. I'm just going to do that. They got rid of our shield. All right. So. We're going to lock target on them, and we're going to hit a quick slice. And we'll end turn. They're putting their shields up. So they've got, so they're going to have the first four points of shields. Let's see. So we're going to come here. We could do a slice, and we are just to maintain our shield lock. And, or target lock, and then we'll do a quick slice on them. Voila. Victory. So we got that. We got some money. For that, we get to move on. Yep. Uh, yeah. We need ordnance. Yeah. You now have access to ordnance, main resource for attack. Let's go here. So, left click on ordnance. Okay. All right. So, there we go. So, now we're going to be running a little more ordnance heavy play. So, our laser pulses. So we've modified our beam cutter to be a bit more there and use a little less energy. Okay. So 
Very good. Progress onwards. Another ship closing in. We're now going to be prepared to fight them. Before, you're just managing energy. They fire a laser pulse every turn. Okay. So, let's do a block. Um, and let's just hit them with a very nice big beans, beam sweep. And you know what? I don't, not really having a lot to lock on. Precision. Okay, now they're moving to a heavy blast. The heavy blast, we want to use precision attacks to get that. Uh, with precision, we can fire it directly on there. Let's gain some shield points. They're about to get their shield up. All right. What we're going to do, do that. That will then take another little bit to block. I'm going to keep charging up our shield points. It's not reduced. It reduces the bleed. Okay. Let's see. Let's do that. Okay. Laser pulse. And they're starting to get on that. Okay. They're starting to charge that up. Really? I guess we're going to have to double block here and take the hit. Because we didn't draw any sort of... There we go. Oh well. We get this infrared emitter. Done and leave. Now, there we go. Now we also need to get mass. Yes. So there's now a new resource we have, which is mass. We need to come in here, upgrade our reactor, and add mass. This Thing goes in there and now we can also do heat damage with our laser um, heat is a um, uh, thing if you overtake it it's it's bad okay salvage circle around attack let's take an advantage Take your tactical advantage. So our first attack will do plus three. Okay. That would be nine excite. Oh, wow. They had a bunch of shields. Oh, well. They're going to beam pulse us, and now they have a missile. So this missile is in line to attack us, but not much I can do about that. And this gains two of each resource. Um... Gain that. I could possibly hit that. Oh, uh, we're going to take a bunch of damage. Yeah, because we didn't draw any shields. There's a, yeah. 
I'm going to get rid of one of those. Yeah. So now they have that's coming there. We need another block. That should take that offline. And beam sweep. Yeah, they're now taking overheat. There we go, that's fine. Um, could have done another command to take less damage. But there we go. Okay. So, shield amplifier. So this will gain us a bunch of energy for once. Um, so we have to have any shield points and then we can get a massive amount more. This can just throw down a bunch of energy there. Let me pick up this missile pack. All right, so we now have access to a new weapon type as they were using missiles against us. All right. All right. Begin salvage. All right. So now we have a launch bay, which now gives us missiles to use. Fantastic. One thing I do want to come is I really want to push up ordnance. Um, there we go. All right. Okay. So we're going to have to take an alternate route. We can't go there. This is where we need to go. So moving on in a, a non-primary node costs us an extra fuel. But we have to do it this time. All right. Rather than take morale, we'll prepare for combat. And be ready. Okay. Flak weapons basically keep adding stacking damage. So, um, perfect. Um, we do this. That's it. That resource is gone there. Um, let's go ahead and add a block. And star flare. We've got our missiles going. And end turn. Okay. That was nice. Um, let's hit a beam sweep. Um, let's go ahead and hit another beam sweep. Let's hit a pulse laser there. I don't think we're going to need block. They're going to take... <laughs> yeah. That hurt. Okay, so we take that. And we add a card. Shield stream. Well, that gains us a bunch there. All pulse cards. Three deal two damage three times, so it hits them a bunch of different. The pulse cards go up one, which is nice. The shield stream, the fact that you get to keep your shield going for three turns is nice, but you have to do the ammo dump. I'm going to like this catalyst pulse. Okay. Continue. 
and auxiliary equipment. So now we have anti-missile, the so two PDC bursts if we need them. So we have some some single use, you know, anti-missile. Okay, repair station. Dock and do some repairs. There we go. Covered some hull. Here we go. Um, all right. And now we're fighting a pirate at their full kind of power. So this is more boss level. Okay, so they're doing some spread shots and destroy closest missile. So we don't want to launch a missile at this moment. Um, laser pulse. Let's see. I'm going to put a block on. And we're I think going to hit the laser pulse and turn. Light barrage. Okay. Almost need like two of each resource. All right. Gain two of each resource. Do that. All right. Gonna target lock you. And we are gonna launch the missile. All right. We tried. They have a missile coming up. All right. Um, so we want to do a PDC. Um, we need to start getting that taken care of, actually. That's where we need to do it. Okay. Red shot, we don't want to do that. Light pulse. Take that offline. Okay. We're going to take a little damage. Okay. That sucked. Predictive aim. Okay. Gain that. Destroy the closest missile again. If we don't play this, we lose it. So I'm playing that to keep that going. which is fine. All right. Deals. 
damage, pulse. Do that. All right, they're now overheated as well. The laser pulse is coming back. Um, EDC is good. That's offline. All right. We do want to ignite them. So we're now blind, dealing one less damage, which is fine, because we're going to do a PDC burst. Next, flak attack deals. Four. All right. Laser pulse. That's coming up. Okay. Let's get a block. Let's do damage to that system. Take it offline. The six damage. Do that right on the shield. There's a missile. All right. Beam sweep does seven. I think I'm going to do that. Hold on to it. I'm not going to get a kill this turn anyway. Oop. Oh, well. We're going to do a nice beam sweep and a very lovely beam sweep. There we go. And we get to add a card. If you don't have shields, that's another PDC burst. Once you do this, you gain one shield point every time you play a laser or ion attack. Not bad. Raise shields. Requires three. So it has to be sitting out there for two turns. And then it comes in. Deplete. That's a nice anti-missile. This one point to shield. I don't know if that would be in duration. So the ray shield, when it comes in with no shields, is then holding it for one duration. So that's a nice shield holder. We get to continue. go alive all right there we go allied there we go we're being called back to the station director so we we've at least completed the task let's go ahead and go in all right equipment is unknown coverage all right Take the black box with you and leave. They're still coming after us. Corvette class gunship. All right, so we, we, we've gotten something for our salvage. It's the MacGuffin. We're taking it. But now we're no longer going to be in our little salvage ship with a laser that was strictly intended for mining, but, you know, kind of did it. So we can either... This is a um, pulse laser. 
So this goes after equipment. Okay, that's I think similar to what we've been doing. Um, so this makes subsequent attacks to the shredder. This is a rail gun. Neutralizing enemy action. So for destroying enemy equipment with extended cooldown. So it's this will play a bit differently. We can have an extra gunner, but um, essentially, so we have a security mechanism, remove one pit from an attack, so we essentially, you know, and it consumes security, so we, we make them weaker, but instead of having our own, like, um, and here, get energy. Um, and then here we use ships that now oh, we will really need to use mass. So it's a they have us as kind of a, this balanced. This okay. This is the laser ship that is familiar with a shield. This also has a shield that's a little bit differently. Okay. Gain two if you end your turn. So it constantly, you're spending it down and it just gets you there. So you're just throwing out a bunch of ordnance and mass. And there is a repair kit there. So you repair three at the start of every battle. So your whole, you're meant to, you're spent, you're meant to use these hasty defenses and, and throw up these quick shields, and then just fire, fire, fire. This one it has a suppressor instead of a shield. I don't know. That's a tactical mount. So you, that's in a resource bay. That's a resource augmenter. Launch bay. Uh, so you do have an AI gunner, an AI gunner here. You get, um, this looks to be, this looks to be your, either one of these there. Uh, you trade out to different crews too. So there's an AI gunner versus this thing let's i wonder how this works this looks to be interesting i'm not gonna necessarily go very far with this one um but you know maybe this marauder so each ship more deadly than the last so now you have differences in tactics basically from just after the um first you know first mission here so Here's our kind of thing where, you know, one pip, they really dislike us. Allied, they're neutral. Okay. All right. Okay. So, pirate activity. So those, we don't want to end up, well, we're going to have to go there, but we do want to like get up there. So like possibly we don't want to go here and here, but like here into this thing, space station neutral. So we might like come in here, like we have a little bit of fuel. So maybe we chart a path that's kind of like, through to here, use a little bit of our fuel, then head out that way. Sounds like a, that'd be kind of like a plan. But first, we've got to prepare for combat. Here we go. They've got this ship, they've got a laser, and whatever. Okay. That gives us a bunch. Fly one shred. 
So this has very little precision, but we also, yeah. So we're just, we're doing that. Let's see. They're getting ready. Okay. So. I think we want to pulse for where they're going to do here. Add a light. Oh. So we do that and then we add a light barrage. So they keep adding. We need. Like, this is nice. But. There you go. We want to also get rid of that hasty defense out of hand. All right, shield pulse. Yeah, I'm going to lose that. I'm going to do. Yeah. So they get to shield pulse. Oh, yes. This is what I want. If I end with three or less, they do more. We do a shield pulse. Let them finish their turn. Let their shields deplete. Very good. All right. Opening shot. Light barrage. Light barrage. There we go. We're going to keep getting more. Give um, a double barrel fire. Adds a light barrage card. Um, let's go ahead and do a hasty defense. It's an interesting... Like it cost us there, but now they're at their shield. Um, yep, and that'll take them. This, as opposed to where they had targeting, this is just about how much sheer resources can you build up to keep firing. It's can you keep firing? Effective hold up requires you already be shielded. So, yeah, with the shredding. So, it's just a matter of pure how many times can you fire in a turn with the shredding effect, which may not be the most interesting. Where there's some, you know, where we're like able to target cards, that would be more interesting. But that gets you an idea of, um, you know, where it is where it is although maybe with this ship actually getting to like see if the dead weights are around and like getting this there that might be a unique thing for this faction um so or, or this ship rather than faction so it, it could be very interesting um different ways to play you'll probably you know may want to play around with all the ships as they have very different play styles um but I think that's enough for a first look, kind of gotten through the tutorial, see how the game works, and see a different ship design with a different kind of thing. Obviously, you know, we did the laser ship, we did the flagship, we haven't done the um, um, mass driver ship or the, uh, you know, where it has its going on, so where it has its own kind of thing. Um, but that's enough for now. So I want to say thank you very much for joining me uh, for this first look. I'll definitely be looking for it coming out because this, this looks like a lot of fun. Uh, and be seeing you.